Here's an interesting one for you. This is Zillion. Now, in a bizarre chicken and egg scenario, uh, you could debate a little bit as to what came first, Zillion the game or Zillion the anime. They were... Uh, the game, I think, was intended to be a companion tie-in to the anime, but the game wound up coming out a month earlier than the anime as well, meaning technically, you know, the game inspired the anime, I guess, but not really. I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, but you know, yeah, it's an old anime from the 80s, as you would well imagine, from 87, at that. It's not considered the greatest, but, uh, you know, you might enjoy it. Your mission, steal the confidential information stored in the five floppy disks from the Norse of Force's base on Planet X. I see. And yes, it actually kept the Zillion branding even in the North American release. Which, you know, is, uh... Notorious for rebranding anime games back in the day. After successfully obtaining the discs, input the command EXPLODE in the base's main computer and destroy the base. Oh, could have seen that coming. Champ and Apple are already in the base, but it looks like they've been captured. Rescue them and then work together to accomplish your mission. Good luck, Director Gord. These are all characters in the anime as well. I have not seen it, but I did just a wee bit of research going into this here. Display all the commands available? Why not? You must input an ID card. That was Opa Opa, by the way, right there. You must input an ID card to activate the character for the, the computer for the main computer. Activate the computer for the main computer. Okay. Oh, but the red ID card is required. After use, will not be returned to you except in the case where the command door open is used. Command door open to open the closed door. Input the four letters which appear in the secret box is destroyed. The ID card will let me return to you. Boy, I don't know, man. Okay, map display. Four M's. Laser barrier stop. Four hearts. Sensor stop. Four eights. Moving walkway stop. Use auto gun stop. Looks like gun. Boy. I'm admittedly not sure what's gonna uh, what's gonna happen here. I narrowly avoided certain death. We can just crawl this entire game, I guess. Looks like they won't bother shooting down at our level. All right, good old elevator. So this is actually Metroid. Got him. And now we go back to crawling everywhere. Just because it's so safe. So yes, this is actually the video game adaptation of Nightcrawlers. Oops. Well, that was a- that was a landmine. Guess I gotta hop over them? Well, that doesn't work so well. We're trying here, we're trying. All right, it's a marvelous dead end. There's actually nothing to see here. <laughs> we have very abnormal looking, uh... Ooh, okay, you have no ID card. That's true. I certainly don't. Yeah, but if I did, I would have to do the force field stop command, I would imagine, which is four hearts. I remember that much. I'm not gonna remember all of those, but you know, uh, that one, that one got me. Why is it four hearts? Uh, simple, because if you love them, you will stop the force field. Boy, I don't know how you're supposed to get over those li little landmines. So far, it's, uh, it's extremely simplistic in terms of the action. But, I'd be willing to bet that the action is the last thing that people are too concerned about here. It's likely the adventure aspect of the game that makes it the kind of thing that nobody ever talks about. Now, seriously, when's the last time you heard somebody reference Zillion for the Sega Master System? Never for me. Okay, we can apparently, uh, you know, break all that. We still have no ID card, obviously. Yep, 
Destroying everything in here didn't seem to help. What a shame. Alright, so this little underground base... It's a dead end for now. Nothing for us in there. But, uh, there's also nothing for us up here. So it's gonna be a nice game where we start off immediately feeling lost. Did we miss something over here? I doubt it, but... It doesn't hurt to look, right? Stand in front of the power recovery device. Oh... It is Metroid. Everything is all set to go. See you later. Good luck. I couldn't tell you what character that is. But yeah, look at that. We got all our health back. That's good. Unfortunately, I still don't know where to find an ID card, but... You know, as long as we just crawl through the entire level... We'll, we'll still get screwed over by landmines, but... Oh well. We're gonna hit a lot of these older games where we're just kind of, like, lost the entire time. Here's how I felt playing the Goonies 2. I feel like I need to, like, reevaluate Goonies 2 a little bit there. I haven't ranked... Not low, but not particularly high, and the more that I look back on it, I'm like, boy, that game did sure try its darnest, though, didn't it? Nope. Well, I don't know how to get, get over that. Did, did I go this way? Yes. Yes, yes, I did, and the other way is a dead end. Oh, okay. You can actually just walk right through them. You just take damage. But we can't open the door, so, well, I took unnecessary damage. Don't worry. I'm sure if we keep running around, we'll eventually find something. I don't think we have enough health to make it past the landmines now, which is a little bit of a problem. You know, just, just a wee problem. I jumped over one. And only one. Nope, I made it over two, actually. That's, that's, it's a new record. You got me pretty much pixel perfect on that, but, uh, you know, no, no big deal. Let's go, uh, get our health back again. <laughs> it's the only thing we know how to do, is go down the elevator and get health. Crawl on the ground and shoot things. Boy, if if this had a high score, I'd be getting the highest score just from shooting robots all day long. And I'm gonna feel obligated to watch the anime. You played the video game. Now watch the anime. Yeah, it doesn't have a very high rating on my anime list, but you know, it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to not like it. Sometimes my anime list is wrong. Like when they didn't rate Jippy 8 as the best show of 2020. If you've never watched Jippy 8 and you love terrible things, I suggest you watch it. It's a bad, bad show. Hey look, bread. You can't say we didn't find anything. We probably can't pick it up because we're at full health. Dang, I wanted bread. Oh, hey, I've, al I've alerted them. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Input ID card. Okay, I guess I got the ID card. That means that if, if, we, if we put in the hearts... Set command two, laser barrier stop. The laser, okay, the laser barrier stopped moving, but that's it. Oh no, and now we have no ID card. Did we, did we waste the ID card on that? How did we get the ID card in the first place? You'd, you would think the ID card would be persistent. Hmm.
Well, watch this. Hmm. When I said watch this, I was hoping for something uh, mildly more interesting to happen. This, uh, this gives me vibes of being one of those games that actually tries to do quite a bit, and, uh... This kind of falls apart. Oh, can I really can I really not have the bread? Is that just not for me? You have no ID card, but why, though? I did before, and then I squandered it. Hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a head-scratcher. You ever play Mist? It's got nothing on this game. Oops. Made it over two again, I'm getting better. That's true, we do have no ID card. Which means we cannot open that door up there. But how did we re how did we re retrieve an ID card? Do we just have to like kill robots until one drops one? Because that seems like a not incredible <laughs> game design choice, especially if you like waste it. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the forbidden thing, and I'm gonna look up the manual real quick here. I'm just gonna give it just a little read. I'm usually okay with wasting, like, f around 15 minutes uh, trying to figure out what's going on, but for the sake of content here, I'm gonna give the manual a very quick perusal. I'll be right back. I don't think I figured all of it out. But I think I, I have been given one tiny little hint. But I could be totally wrong here. There was a diagram in the manual inside of this room, and it said elevator. And it pointed right here. But now I'm thinking that that's a bunch of horse hockey. It didn't really tell me much, honestly. Oh, although I did, again, activate uh, the alarm. I mean, we get a... Nope, we still don't have an ID card. Sorry for that cursor there. I don't know how I got the ID card. I don't know how to eat the bread, either. We can't just uh, shoot the... Oh, wait. Ah! We press up on it, of course. Okay. Ah! We press up on the cylinders, and we get things. Oh, okay. I just had to be pressing up this whole time. Keyword eight. Keyword Y. So zero, I imagine. Oh gosh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get toasted here. Please stop, bad guys. Zero, glasses, eight, why? Is that it? Nope. Set z command zero, door open. Take your ID card, push exit. Hey! I figured it out. I'm a genius. So yeah, pressing up was all I had to do. That's where the elevator is. Go figure, right? Okay. Absolutely, I'll take the bread. Absolutely, I'll take the scope. Ah, and see now, I read this in the manual too. That's an infrared ray. I go through that, I alert all the enemies. So the scope will be useful to have, obviously. Now that I know what to do with my life, we're gonna go top off on health. Because we can. Yeah, it kills time. That's true. But it's safe. You gotta be safe in the world of Zillion. Don't mind if I do. 
I believe uh, I read in the manual that says Amy. Thank you, Amy. Your green hair will bless this trip. Or is that blue? I don't know. Kind of a sea foam. Now, now that I'm, you know, equipped with the power of a little bit of knowledge, Okay. He did knock us back with his laser. By the way, our gun is called the Zillion. That's where Zillion comes from. We, we're not like a zillion light years away from Earth, if that's what you wanted to know. So now... Keyword, that was the, the weird sprout thing. Weird sprout thing, that's an M. Are we just gonna have to take the hit here. Y double zero M sprout. Okay. It's Y double zero M sprout. Door open. Take your ID card. Don't mind if I do. It's a shame I gotta, I gotta go through here and take this, take this hit, you know? What do you got for me in here now? Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll take the bread right away. Now, fortunately, you know, as long as I'm crawling on the ground, they can't do a thing to me. That's another ID card. Beautiful. Just give me all the ID cards you got, man. That's exactly what it's doing. I must have accidentally pressed up on one of those at some point. Ooh. Very hard to get over. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue here. Because we need an upgraded gun to destroy these cylinders. Meaning, I went the wrong direction. This can be very hard to make it out of here alive with the tiny little bit of health I have. I feel I feel really happy that I read the manual though, you know. Oh, well, that that's just outright killed me. Shoot, well there there goes JJ. Oh no, how can I go on now that you're gone? This sadness is unbearable. <laughs> you fool. Game over. Here's Opa Opa. The, the continue feature can only be used three times per game. Well, we may as well just retry then, because we barely got anything done. Look at that, like, seven pixel human being down there. I know the rules. You know the rules, and so do I. Oops. I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, one death, it's a game over. Three continues basically means you have three lives. But, this seems like one of those games where if you do everything in, in, in the correct order, it should be perfectly doable. We are gonna start by going over here. Getting the... scope is going to be a good thing for us. Here's our ID card. It's a beautiful life. Glasses. Y. Sprout. Come on. I'm not afraid. Glasses. Y. Sprout. 8. Check it out. Glasses. Y. Sprout. Eight. Door command open. So, we'll go... We'll go a different direction this time, clearly. That... That's a cylinder down there I have no access to, but... I don't care, man. Getting the scope. It's helpful. 
Yeah, all right. This uh, this is definitely a game that uh, challenges what you expect of the Master System. I'd say that much. It's it's got some guts to it and what it's trying to do, as in it's trying to do more than just be a very simple beat 'em up. <laughs> Although, uh, we're hitting that point in the Master Systems library, where we're getting these slightly more complicated games. M. Y. This is reading it backwards, of course. 8. Oh, I didn't see it! I didn't see it! Oh, no! I- ho Hopefully I can- I can, like, re... spawn... them all. Yes. Heart, you... I should do this the right direction as well, but... Let's see. Heart, you, Y, Sprout. So Sprout, Y, you, Heart. We're, we're kind of a genius, you know? I don't mean to uh, toot my own horn here, but uh, we figured out a, a game from 1987 with the thanks, t uh, with the help of its manual. You, heart, zero zero, glasses. You, heart. Zero, zero glasses. I'm good for it, man. Hmm. Not a big fan of this. Looks like something that'll toast me. But if I have to take a small hit, I'll take a small hit, you know? Um. Okay, let's try to get this the right way here. Teletubby, Sprout, Glasses, you. Teletubby, Sprout, Glasses, you. Can't remember which, uh, I don't think any of the Teletubbies just had a straight T on their head like that. But it's all I can do to properly parse it. All right. We got a problem now. Unless... Ah, it's an ID card, but it's not what I need. We need to find an upgrade to Zillion somewhere, and I don't know where to find that. The jumping is a little, little uh, awkward. It's got a odd delay to it. Yeah. Give me that bread. I mean, literally, it's bread. Is there like... Hmm. Maybe a key card there. I'm gonna try something here. Laser barrier stop. So I should be able to safely go through there. All that did was replace the ID card that I spent to get in there. <laughs> Very mysterious. Why are we going this way? We've, we've, we've determined this is a terrible way to go. I know, but I, I want it, I need it. I need to see more. Actually... Because it's so dangerous, I am gonna go and top off my health again! Hey, got him! I don't know why I'm being so careful. I can take as much damage as I want on the way there. As long as I don't die. Whatever you need, Amy. Uh, 
Not bad a little anime pixel art there, considering the low amount of bits we've got to work with here. This game actually reminds me quite a bit of The Goonies 2, in that it, it's, it's a fairly ambitious adventure with a mazy environment. And going through it blind is uh, <laughs> a tumultuous affair. But there are a lot of people who consider The Goonies 2 to be a very exceptional game, and I don't know, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, maybe it was better than I gave it credit for. Not that I was, like, ragging on it and being like, it's awful. See, we had 500 hit points when we got into this area. We've already lost, like, all of... Well, we're already down to 520 again, so... We'd be down to, like, 300-something if we played that sloppy coming through here before. I'm just saying, I think it's worth being safe. Hmm. Speaking of... being safe... Heart. Glasses. M. Spleen. Oh shit, that's not permanent. Sprout. Heart, glasses, M. Sprout. Okay, so those... Entering those commands... To stop the laser barrier, that does not give you your ID card back. Opening the door does give you your ID card... Back. I know these are all ID cards, so I can just, uh... <laughs> these are some very dated sounding sound effects, I gotta say. <gasps> he knows how to shoot low! Okay, I, I think I know. I think I know it must be done. But I know not if I have the strength to do it. This is why they gave you 800 ID cards. It's an Opa Opa. It's the, the level 2 gun. It's an ID card. It's another Opa Opa. I can't remember what the Opa Opas do. But they gotta be good, right? I think they're continues, actually. More ID cards. Okay. Well, now that we got the level 2 gun, turns out I was right to come to this area the entire time. We still can't shoot the landmines. That doesn't happen until you get a level 3 gun. If I'm remembering correctly here, but that's more cylinders we can destroy. Wish I didn't just have to take that hit. But I, I don't believe I have to go up through that route ever again. Ah, we hit one. That's not that bad. Yeah, we're taking hits because I'm going up for another top off. You kidding me? With progress like this? I think that because the Master System was so strapped for games in the US, this might be more of an essential purchase than it would be if it were on the NES. It's like, hey, it's a decent adventure game on the Master System. Beggars can't be choosers, you know? And who knows, there, there could be some much better games coming up for it. I don't know. It's not a, it's not a big library. Like, we will easily finish the entire Master System series within, like, a couple months. If that. I'm gonna go this way because there is a cylinder way up here that I should have the power to break now, and I want to see if it has something wonderful in it. 
I don't think it's anything amazing. Nope, just a re <laughs> just a regular ID card. That's okay, whatever. It's worth looking. And I genuinely believe that. Okay, moving on. Let's first just blow it up. Mm, I don't know. It's probably just an ID card. Which doesn't seem to me to be that worthwhile. That requires the level 3 zillion. That little cocoon looking thing right there. Okay. That's why. Zero, zero. Teletubby. Sprout. Why zero, zero, Teletubby, Sprout? I'm worried that I'll, like, misremember one of those real qu real quick. <laughs> it's a second elevator. I wonder if the anime is half as exciting as this. So why? Zero, zero? It's <laughs> great. Oh no! Well. Why zero, zero, Teletubby Sprout? All right there, in a convenient to find area. Oop. We got hit by him on the way down. I don't have the power to get over that. Oops. <laughs> Darn. I'll open that in a sec. This one I can just go right under and it's no problem. Why? Teletubby, you... Level up, is that what I said? Why Teletubby, you sprout? Look into the episode where I just say unrelated words constantly Ooh, he hit me I want to see what's up this elevator first though you understand hey yay I know where this is that's cool okay so that's that's just a shortcut if there are a better way to avoid Walking through the zappy boy, I'd be more thrilled with it. Hmm. We have to do it. Teletubby heart. ID card. <laughs> Teletubby heart. Sprout. Glasses. Tell Toby Hart, Sprout Glasses. Almost never uses the zero, I've noticed. Very rarely. 
Was it worth it? Probably not. Almost certainly not. Oh god. Nope. Not, not for just a regular key card. I should have known that it wasn't going to be worth it. We haven't found one floppy disk yet. The ones who can actually, like, kneel. Okay, glasses. They're scary, is what I'm saying. Glasses, you, ate, sprout. Thank you. I, I am intrigued by the game. It's kind of a one-trick pony, but... To say that it doesn't do anything unique at all would be a little disingenuous. I don't know which, uh... I was gonna say, I don't know which elevator I should take. Apparently not that one. It's one of those dirty trap elevators that sends you nowhere. Could use another Opa Opa at this point, that's for sure. Hmm, landmines that way. I'll go the safer route, thank you. Safer in air quotes. Glasses. Zero, zero. U. Y. And then... Style on him with one of these. Get yourself some safe passage. That's right, you know I had to do it to him. Mm, don't like this. I feel like this is, uh, this is very much dying territory. Ah, oh, they're, sh they're firing up at me! Heavily illegal. And that's it. Dead. But we have continues. Amy is miserable. Bad guy is very happy. We continue. See you later. Good luck. Hey, thanks. We just continue right here. That's pretty good. Yeesh. And take a lot more damage. Why Teletubby you owe? About time they use that. Why Teletubby uh, you? And the very rarely used zero. I want, I want the level three gun, man. This is this must be the auto gun that I have heard so much about. It seems to be a, more of a mild annoyance than anything. It's you zero eight. U08 Teletubby. Okay. If nothing else, this game actually requires a bit of actual brain power from me in terms of just trying to remember what I'm trying to input here. <laughs> like, I, I gotta keep a little bit of the back of my gray matter free. Things are getting very deadly here. Look at this! I know that there's an input I can do to stop the guns, but I don't know if it's worth it. Glasses, zero, zero. Jesus. Teletubby U. Glasses, zero, zero, Teletubby U. I'm getting absolutely styled on by these, uh... Big bad bad guys, by the way. Like, they have figured out how to do it to me. I have no good way of fighting back, unfortunately. 
I'm just JJ. We lost our... No. Sprout scope is what we lost. And now we're dead. Shit, man. Alright, so continuing does definitely have... It's bad sides here. Sprout. M. Y. Sprout NYU. It could be argued that I'm just not playing carefully enough, which is, you know, valid. Ah, really glad I came all the way here. Everybody loves a good maze. However, now that I look at it, that is an elevator. We have a lot of ID cards, so may as well, you know, slot one in here. Or maybe, maybe we do still have our scope. Yeah, I think I saw where the, uh... I think I saw where the, uh, laser was. Teletubby, you... Okay, so it's M, U, Teletubby. M, U, Teletubby Heart. In terms of scope, I would call it the most mature of all the Master System games so far. What is that? Somebody frozen straight up carbonite. You ate. You ate M zero zero. Shit. Shit. U eight M zero zero. Is it? Will it still work? Good. So it didn't change on me. That's good. Okay. Now I clearly gotta <laughs> stop the zap again. I want to see who, who is this person frozen in time here. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm sorry that I was captured. Is Champ alright? Oh, it's Apple! Look at that, Apple. She's only got a zapper power, or sorry, zillion power of one. Less overall health, better jumping. I've got a scope. Can I switch them at any time? I can. Which actually... Is great for overall survivability because you, you can basically use one of them to just tank stuff and then oh, wow she is a good jumper look at that <laughs> Apple can just jump everywhere but the question is would Apple win a uh, best girl contest I don't know So already, you know, she's she's almost dead. It, it doesn't do us any great favors, I must admit. So now is the time that I would love to go back to the ship and uh, top off a little bit of my health yet again. I don't think we ever came down here, though. Looks like there's some doable stuff down here. Zero, zero. <laughs> Don't say bread, it'll screw you up. Zero, zero. Sprout. Why? Glasses? 
Good. I was confident that was glasses. I was right. So, when that leveled up, that did not level up Apple as well. Okay, just JJ. Which granted, JJ... JJ's kind of the guy right now, you know? He's... he's... he's got all the power. Ah, oh, but this is where Apple is helpful, you see. And now you're playing Castlevania 3. Zero, zero. Why glasses tell Tuppy? Good stuff, I think. That's a sprout. In case you couldn't see. Ends with a Teletubby. Great. So it's Sprout M U Teletubby. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known that it would uh, propel me into the lightning. Okay, we got we got a Teletubby somewhere in there. Sprout, Teletubby, M, Y. Dang it. Please be correct. It is correct. I haven't gotten it wrong yet, but there's a first time for everything, you know? Give me bread. Thank you. I see your... Infrared beams. We on an infrared beam. M U. M U zero heart. Interesting one. The zero and the heart aren't used all that often, I've found. I'm not sure I like that sound effect. I hear something kind of chug a luggin in the distance. Thank you for the bread. Sprout. Zero, zero. Glasses. Sprout, zero, zero, glasses, zero, okay. Easy enough to input. Now come on, don't be dumb. Use your plethora of key cards to save yourself from a little bit of unnecessary damage. Mm, yes, very, very cute stuff there. Love it. Just, just great. Hey, thanks for the thanks for, for the bread. I believe that was the name of Ariana Grande's uh, album from uh, 2018. Thank you, bread. You glasses zero zero Y. You glasses aren't Y.
what did I do there? You know, I thought that a Y was a U for a second. It it has finally flooded my brain. My brain is finally too small to deal with it. It's a zero at the end. Should have saved that for last, probably. Eight, U, Y, zero. Okay. I'm torn on this game, because, like, it's not the most enticing thing ever, but I, I do feel myself, like, oddly compelled to move forward regardless. What do we got going on here? Are we gonna find a floppy disk, maybe? Wouldn't that be neat? Oh. Or we'll just find death. Ah, shit. This is bad. This could be a game over. I wish there was like a give me some health function. It's Teletubby Y glasses. Eight. <sighs> We're not in the clear yet, though. We've merely opened the door. Life has many doors, though, Ed boy. Shout out to Kevin and the Bikes, the greatest uh, indie rock band about Ed and Nitty ever. It's a trap! No! <laughs> the most terrifyingly dangerous room that I've gone through. And it was all a big joke. Well, now Apple's actually got the most health, which is terrifying. Go on, Apple. <laughs> it was all a waste. <laughs> Big ol' jabated right there. You can... That's it. That's the end. <gasps> but JJ's still- He's not still alive. They're both dead. You fool. Game over. Dang. And we- we wasted all our continues. Couldn't even find a single floppy disk. Damn it. Couldn't have waited like seven minutes to game over? That would have been so much better. Now I gotta play through this part that I already wasted 15 minutes on. So, uh, I mean, there have been worse performances in my life, you know? I've been stuck on far simpler games, level ones. Well, you know, this game doesn't really have levels, so to speak, of either. Class is eight. I hope you enjoyed me just reading off symbols for an hour. Glasses 8. Was that a sprout? Yeah, yeah, glasses 8 sprout Y, that was it. You have no ID card. Right. There it is. <laughs> I think the uh, use of the blue ID card, you know, one, once you figure out how to use them, it becomes almost a dead mechanic. Like something that's there purely just to kind of waste a very minuscule amount of time. The scope, though? Yeah, I'm down for the scope. Come on now. There we go. All right, now I actually know where to go. So I know where to go if I want the level two gun. 
Do I have enough time to get the level 2 gun? I don't know, man. We're just gonna boldly go. Good job. Good job. No triple good job, though, so... We've got a little bit of control over ourselves here. Great, the greatest walk cycle known to man, right here. It's a zero zero for you. Tell Tubby Sprout U zero zero. Yeah, still, still mixed feelings. Ah, uh, fine, fine. Eat my ID card. I know there's like three in the next room anyway. At this point, you know, we haven't beat the game, but we're already, you know, more well-versed in playing a zillion for the Sega Master System than 97% of the population of Earth is. I don't even think that's an exaggeration. So this... we know what to do here. This is where we get our better gun. Our marginally better gun. ID card, nice little level up for ya. Great. Yeah, at least if we're crouched on the ground, we can't get knocked back, so take that, big ol' robot man. Whoops. They nearly knocked me right back into the infrared detector. That would have been a pretty sick move by them, actually. And of course, you know, this is just like a damage check there, being like, oh, you didn't waste too much of your life. But that's probably why they give you the Opa Opa level up as well. They're like, here, you're gonna need a little bit of cushion on your way back. Good job, good job. Again, 33% success rate on jumping those landmines. Not the most impressive thing. Got some Fallout to play after this, you know? My, my Sega Saturn would have come today if it weren't for the fact that the FedEx guy did not ring the doorbell, but needed me to sign for the package. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what he did. I mean, it seems like maybe he just, like, stood in front of my door for ten seconds and then decided, nah, he's not home. I mean, I don't have a car in the driveway, and it was during working hours, but, you know... I work from the comfort of my basement. And I can hear the doorbell from here. All in all, it's not like I can't wait another day, but, you know, I was real jazzed to uh, put on some Virtua Fighter. I believe, understandably. Yeah, 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 you know, we got, uh, we got all glasses, we got a little eight. Got some zero, some U. And that's... Yeah, that's gonna be our last, uh... <laughs> sequence that we'll put in there. We're just gonna, like, damage boost this. Because we can, because the episode's basically over. So, you wind up shooting more containers than anything else, but yeah, that's time. Okay, well, uh, I didn't know what to expect. I had- I have literally never heard anybody mention Zillion ever. I- I have heard of the anime just barely. <laughs> but, uh, the game? 
No, that's that's new to me. I didn't know what to expect. It is most certainly an action adventure game. You know, you got a big old maze of adventure in it. It actually is kind of uh, kind of Metroidy, honestly. And I'm not just saying that because of the you know. Oh, here I'll heal you up to full health room, and then the uh, the elevators. No, you know you you need to upgrade your guns. You need to find new characters. It it's a Metroidvania. By all means, I am I am confident with saying that actually. It's a little little old, you know, a little dated, but so is the first Metroid. Okay, well that's that's a new lens to look at it through. Yeah, uh it's interesting, I'll give it that. I'm glad I got to play it because no, nobody else has ever played it before. <laughs> uh that's not true. Next episode we're looking at Fantasy Zone 2, The Tears of Opa Opa. There'll be two games with Opa Opa in a row. How impressive. So, wonderful. I hope you enjoyed Zillion. Uh, me reading off symbols for an hour has just got to be top shelf entertainment. I hope you join me tomorrow for Fantasy Zone 2. We'll see if it knocks Fantasy Zone 1 off of its throne. I'm just saying, it probably will. We'll see you then.